So, you've got an exam in a day or two, and now you're wondering, what on earth do I do from here? You don't even know what an exam paper looks like. What can you do? Listen, I'm not gonna waste your time. So, if you're scoring less than 30%, I've got a slightly different piece of advice for you. Now, here's what you need to do if you're scoring more than 50% at least on your practice papers. Since it's the last day, we don't really wanna be learning too much new information. However, you wanna make sure you have been through every single past paper and learnt all of the mark scheme answers. Make sure you are recapping at least all of the new spec papers. For literature and essay-based subjects, I need you to be able to recall the essay plan specifically. We don't need to do all the papers, but we should really have seen all of the answers. Now, of course, if you've only got a few hours remaining, this may not be possible, but use your best judgment and apply this accordingly. When it comes to recapping, you may be recapping using Anki flashcards or Quizlet or your own flashcards or a cheat sheet that you might have made. So you're working through this the day before and even maybe as you're walking into the exam now. I know a lot of people would probably say, you shouldn't be studying before you go into the exam. No, we're not learning new content. We're just getting our brain going. Your brain needs to get fired up. So I used to typically recap these points on the school bus. Secondly, you want to make sure you get a good night's sleep. Cramming in the night does not work. No late night sleeps or anything like that. Wake up refreshed for the exam and boom, we go from there. Now, with that being said, it's not so much what you want to do because you know everyone wants to do a lot in the last day. It's what you don't want to do that's going to make you stand out. And what you don't really want to do is be rereading your notes, redoing full papers or watching YouTube videos or just sitting there worrying about how badly you've prepared. Look, you only have one day and the way you've got to treat it is that how can I make this the best possible day for my revision? For example, let's say you got RS on a Monday. The night before, you should just be focusing on RS. Please don't be thinking about the exams that are two, three, four days later, unless you know for a fact that you're scoring 100% on RS. Say you are pretty decent at RS paper one on a Monday. You may want to do the first half of the Sunday for let's say biology, which might be on a Tuesday. But what we want to do is the last exam that you prepare for, should be the exam that you got the next day in the morning. I'm a firm believer of this idea of ramping up. We really want to ramp up to this kind of high level intensity for a subject. So when you go to sleep, you're thinking about RS. When you wake up, you're thinking about RS. And then when you go into the exam, boom, you're at this top quality level for this RS exam. You walk into that exam, you've done all of this preparation, you've got a good night sleeping. But here's one thing I really want you to remember it. Focus on what I'm pointing at here. You focusing? You're watching? Ah! Boom. Right. Expect the unexpected. Have the mindset that they're gonna throw something scary at you. And all I want you to do is, well, oh, that caught me off guard, but cool. I'm ready for this, I'm ready. I watched Usman's video. I know that they're gonna throw something unexpected at me. But remember, I've done the preparation. I have the tools to solve it. Make sure you have your stuff ready the night before. You're not looking for things in the morning. You're not looking for your calculator. Oh, where is it? Where's my scientific calculator? Like you, you don't want that to happen on the exam day because it's just going to cause unnecessary stress. If you are this student who's done at least some preparation in this category of 50, 60, 70% plus, you got to then have this confidence. This is almost this paradox that you have where when you are practicing, when you are training, you're like super, super critical of yourself. But at this stage, you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe that you can do it. You have to have that inner conviction that comes from deep within your heart that you are capable of getting the very top marks. There is no point kind of cussing yourself and saying, oh, I'm an idiot, I'm stupid, whatever. I need you to believe in you. Now, I could go on with a lot more tips, but I'll be honest with you, the real tip you need is get off YouTube and get revising. What if you are scoring less than 30%? You don't even know what an exam paper looks like. What can you do? If you're that guy who's literally never bothered revising and you're dreading that exam tomorrow or the day after, there are some things you can do. If you're a student who's scoring less than 20 or 30%, you can learn a lot with the overnight. What do you call that thing? What do we call it? How many you revise the night before? All-nighter. All-nighter. You can do an all-nighter and learn so much from it. No, really. What you hear from others saying that all-nighters don't work. Yeah, they don't work when you're a 60, 70, 80, 90% student. 
you're already scoring these grades and you're just going to end up wrecking your sleep. But if zero, all nighters work. I've done it before. Listen, you're not going to get a grade eight, grade nine or a grade A star or whatever. You're not getting those marks. Let's be frank about it. We're talking about what to do here and now. And the here and now is that you're going to grab every single paper that ever existed and you're going to grab the mark schemes and you're just going to rote learn all night. What you're going to do is you're going to break it down into small chunks. You're going to work in, say, 45 minute slots. You're going to take a little bit of a break. You're going to go again. You're going to do a 45 minute slot. You're going to take a break, go again. And if you get tired, you may even take a 45 minute nap or a one and a half hour nap. And this is your best shot. Rather than going into the exam with zero marks and hoping that some miracle happens or you can do this all nighter thing where yes your sleep is going to be wrecked up but at least you'll be able to score maybe a passing mark so it really just depends on like where you are at so if you are one of those students then this is what i would do you may want to take some coffee or red bull i remember doing this for one of my oxford exams where i hadn't revised and i tried doing an all-nighter i took red bull and it was an absolute disaster like i couldn't even think straight it was because my heart was like woof, 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 woof. it was going crazy take it with caution but a lot of people do all-nighters using these types of tools you're going to do an all-nighter the main focus is on memorization you should by the end of the night you should have reams and reams of sheets of paper memorizing purely the mark scheme answer forget the understanding man like you want to be like oh but shouldn't i understand well what if i don't know the content well mate the time for that has gone we have to focus on the now we have to focus on today rather forget the day you got to focus on the night you, you do this kind of all-nighter mission but be mindful that this is going to affect your future exams potentially so let's say you've got rs tomorrow now if you do an all-nighter for rs that means that's going to affect your revision for biology and so on and so forth it can have a knock-on effect for exams immediately after it it might be a case that you decide that RS is the one that you're going to sacrifice. Maybe you don't do an all-nighter because you want to just focus on biology. You're like, screw RS, let me just fail it. It is what it is. I've broken my ligaments. I've done damage here and I've had to make some serious decisions about getting metal rods and pins put in. And that is what it is. You might be wondering, I mentioned the guys that are scoring less than 30% and the guys that are scoring over 50, 60%. What about the guys in the middle? To be honest, this is not exact science. You guys are going to have to make that decision yourself, whether you're going to do an all-nighter or whether you're not. Drop a comment below and let me know whether you're in the all-nighter crew or whether you're in the prepared crew. I don't even know what name you guys have. So, cool. Toodles. If you found this video useful, and subscribe. We all need a bit of fun in our lives. Some of you have messaged me to ask what you should do if your school isn't giving you any time off, even after your exams. You have exams and then your school doesn't let you go home. So what should you do in that situation? Firstly, ask the school to let you go home. If not, then try to just get out and walk out of the school. If the doors are locked or whatever, then basically try at lunchtime, just say you've got homeschool dinners or something, and then don't come back after that. Just come back for the next exam and repeat the same trick again. That's probably what I would do. Toodles.